Don't move, freak! <laughs> I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Now! Take him to Blackgate. <laughs> Easy, officer! It's Italian! <laughs> Welcome to Blackgate. We're going to do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? We're not here to talk about me. Why don't you answer that? Bad day. <laughs> well, the thing is, I've had... ...a few too many. And what do you mean by that? All oh, people should know. <laughs> there is nothing so cruel as memory. The triggers that send thunderbolts of torment through your synapses. Unwanted screamers of recollections. <laughs> Inescapable. Unrelenting. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> <laughs> the past is a parasite. Once it's hooked in, it becomes part of you, feeds off of you, cleaves off little pieces, deforms you until you're a repulsive, hollowed out wretch, and your laughter reverberates endlessly off the walls of your own empty. Come on! I understand, but I need more specifics than what you give me. How about we try some more? You gotta be kidding me! That's always. Laughing. Acceptance. That's a good try, isn't it? You gotta be kidding me! I'm only doing this to help. Let's try this again. How are you supposed to get? <laughs> My favorite state. Oh, hello. So you know who we're with. Oh, I know her better than most. What about family? Scrambled eggs. Fate. You want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined, not by some higher power, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been... ...moment? Is that how you feel? All the bad. All the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate. So now you see fate differently. Oh yes, now I see that fate is what brings people together. So you've met someone special? You might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? I feel like someone pulled the plug on my world and I'm being sucked down the drain into something totally new. You wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. You might say it's monstrous. <laughs> Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? 
It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you seem like a person who's not afraid to let go and fall. Free fall. No rope, no hope. <laughs> it's such a surprise. It's all so sudden. It just seems like it was meant to be. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. Uh, my name's Halim. Halim Quinzel. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. Master Bruce? <sighs> Alfred. It might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. You know I made a promise of my own to your parents. If I hadn't called the police, you would be dead. Is that what you want? Is that why you do this every night? Not now, Alfred. You're some kind of drugged up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. You ain't kidding. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. What's crazy is that motherfucker shrank after he died. He's about your size now. Yeah, I saw the autopsy. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. I need to inspect that autopsy report.